Welcome back to our next video installment, where we delve into profound messages of hope and preparation. May this day greet you with abundant blessings, and may the divine grace touch all who engage with our content. Before delving into today's topic, let us begin with a moment of prayer, lifting our hearts to the Almighty. O Most High God, in the name of Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, who sacrificed himself to save us, we offer our humble sacrifices. We embrace challenges and sufferings as a means to bring redemption to souls in times of warning. We implore your mercy upon sinners who find it difficult to return and accept your divine mercy, that they may offer necessary sacrifices and repent before you. Amen. In the present day, the Blessed Mother speaks, Dear children of the Immaculate Heart, beloved ones, Many no longer believe that strong reactions are appropriate as violence becomes increasingly prevalent. If my children understood the significance of allowing violence within them, they would recognize it as a sign of the presence of Satan's companions, seeking to sow discord and weaken humanity's noblest virtues. This enmity stems from disobedience, human indifference, and the dearth of moral values, all of which my son desires to see restored within his people. You must hold firm in the belief that evil shall vanish from within humanity. My children shall marvel, for darkness looms heavily on the horizon. Solar storms intensify, and radiation increases from the sun and moon, disrupting Earth's electrical systems, communication, and technology through solar winds. Yet, fear not this knowledge but recognize these changes in the sun and cosmos. As darkness descends, you must distance yourselves from evil and deepen your spiritual growth to interact differently with those who do not believe in the protection of the divine and dismiss these truths as falsehoods spread by evil. My son shall not abandon his people, he is here with you, my children. Indeed, he shall regard them as the apple of his eye. Nothing will happen, nothing will happen, is a common saying. How grievous when my children's reasoning is so flawed. Mother Nature pours forth her wrath upon my children in other nations. They shall tell you they have witnessed what heaven warned you about, and the weather is changing. You, my beloved ones, must realize that you are only responsible for existential needs because you are children of God. He shall attend to all else. Due to their laziness, they shall be thrust into the care of communities where God's people gather, and great cities shall be deserted. I shall need to call upon my priests. O oh my children, to contemplate this, keep the Bible and Gospel in hand daily. A small altar, prayer books, and sacraments should also be kept nearby, for you shall not receive them through this channel. This shall also aid you in preparing for the various difficulties predicted to cause social unrest in many nations. You have been fully informed of the shifting elements and fierce whirlwinds that shall traverse the earth through this communication. The reversal of poles is one of the last events this generation shall witness. Therefore, heaven implores that to prevent humans from becoming prey, they must use their senses cautiously and wisely. As citizens of my son, you must unite, purify yourselves, examine your actions and behavior, all under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. You must not allow yourselves to be deceived or divided. O oh, beloved children of the Immaculate Heart, ignorance encounters arrogance. Mexico suffers as allies turn their backs on the helpless. Colombia shall be shaken and tested. My son faces trouble as laws contradict God's purpose. I intercede for these people. Water is polluted by deliberate actions against humanity. Though a source of life, humanity does not cherish water. Human blood continuously flowing is the cause of Earth's upheaval. Do not divide. Show affection to your brothers and sisters. When one door closes, I shall open another for my children. Sin is not a source of joy for my son's people. 
They obey the word of God. They are not a people ruled by social status. They do not belong to the haughty, proud, or self-imposing. They walk under the highest levels of protection, striving continuously to sustain activity. I call upon you to walk the path of renewal. You receive my blessings in the form of the Mother of Humanity, the Morning Star, the Healer of Ailments, and the Refuge of Sinners, Mother Mary. Now, let us pray, O Almighty God, Rock and Redeemer of us all, as we face the impending darkness, we turn to you, seeking wisdom, protection, and strength in the face of uncertainty and fear. We trust unwaveringly in your love and steadfastness, for your promises never fail. Lord, we acknowledge you as the light shining in the darkness, powerless against the shadows. May your light illuminate our hearts and minds, guiding us through the darkest nights, even as the world around us grows increasingly obscure. Grant us insight and courage to navigate this time wisely. Help us to shine forth love and hope to those around us, bringing comfort to the fearful and solace to the weary. Lord, we pray for the safety and well-being of our families, our communities, and all affected by the darkness surrounding us. May your boundless mercy shield us from harm and bestow upon us your incomprehensible peace. We pray that we may cling to you as our source of strength and safety as we traverse this darkest of nights. Help us to trust in your plan, knowing that all is being done for the good of those who love you. Knowing that you hear us and are always with us in our time of need, O Lord, we lift up our prayers to you. May your light shine brightly within our hearts, illuminating even the darkest of nights and guiding us into a new dawn. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Light. Amen. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. What are your thoughts on today's topic? Feel free to leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon to receive notifications of our latest videos. In conclusion, I wish you all a day filled with positive energy. May the Lord watch over you. Amen.